the day that I actually will likely be releasing this video is the same day that I will be welcoming my second born son into this world. He's coming via C-section and so the appointment is scheduled and I already know when it's supposed to happen. Now this does mean that I don't quite know when the next video is going to come in the new year. It may take several weeks before I am able to release a video. I am probably going to have my hands very full with a three-year-old and an infant simultaneously while also helping a woman who has just gone through a pretty major surgery recover and cover for all the needs of the people in the house. I'm going to be busy. So there's pretty much no way that I'm going to be able to really release a video anytime soon into the new year, as I'm sure you could probably understand. Now, this also leads me to the first point of this video. Uh, I have a couple things that I'm going to kind of knock off the list as the wrap up for this video, the final video for 2023. The first thing being that in the new year, because of my increased demand on my schedule and my time, there's a decent chance that I'm going to be really, really strapped for time for workouts. Now, this is gonna go out to all the people who I see while I'm working out at Fit For Less or any other gym that I happen to be at. Who knows what the new year will bring. But point is, this is for you guys. This, this point specifically is for you guys. In fact, there's a decent chance that I have sent you here specifically just to hear this. So listen up, let's get to this point. I will not have as much time to interact with people at the gym as I usually do. I usually end up being pretty friendly and, and you know, open, answering questions, helping people with the forum, you know, just generally chit-chatting, that sort of thing. But I'm probably going to be super strapped for time. So all my workouts are going to be basically get in there, plow through what I can do for that day, get out as quickly as possible. I'm not going to have a lot of time to waste or mess around, which means that my time spent chatting and interacting is going to be cut to a minimum. And it means questions will be basically impossible to answer during my workout because I will not have the time to be able to focus on that. I'm going to be focusing every ounce of energy that I have on the workout. I'll probably be exhausted. I'll probably be, you know, at the edge emotionally, likely. I mean, just the prep for this alone has pushed me to quite a fun mental space. But the point being, there's not going to be a lot of resources available for things that aren't the workout and that's about it. Now, that being said, I do still like to try to give back to the community as much as humanly possible. So I will reopen this little thing for you guys. I have a website, well, uh, an email address, free at sevenstarfitness.com. I'll put it both here and then I'll also throw it in the description. But if you have any questions, I'm going to direct you to that. Go to free at sevenstarfitness.com, send an email about that, and once a month I'm gonna do an Insta Live where I answer all of these, you know, questions that you guys happen to have. So I'll freely give you the answer to these questions, but do me a favor, allow me to make it organized, put it in one place so that I can easily tackle it once a month. And also, I don't know, maybe this will help with my social media following. By the way, follow me on Instagram. Anyhow, that pretty much takes care of that. Second piece of the puzzle is I really wish that I wouldn't write things in hieroglyphics. The last thing I wanted to talk about, and I have it written down here, was going to be the Liver King. As most of you know, the Liver King has been outed as a user of PEDs. And there's a few feelings I have on that. Now, for those of you who watched my other video on that, th the way I approached that was to talk about if I thought his approach to fitness was legit. And I thought, quite frankly, like, that's enough. That's all we really need to talk about. But mm, I look back on that thinking to myself, I think there's a little bit missing from that. And that is the perspective that all of the information presented in his tenants and whatnot is presented with the idea that if you follow these, you'll look like me. And we all know that isn't the case. The tenants, they weren't it. It was it was 100% the gear. 
this speaks a lot to something that I wanted to get into in the steroid saga, and I will be tackling eventually because I do find the topic very interesting, but it's our skewed understanding of that which is possible via exercise, diet, and consistency. It really does mess with our ability to properly see what is possible and what is reasonable. And some social media influencers have taken it upon themselves to chastise the audience, us, you, people like you, for engaging with this content. But I think it's bigger than that. I think the problem exists such that influencers talked about his content to feed the algorithm, to create stuff that people would then watch, which then increased his overall imprint on the internet creating more people who knew about him who engaged with his content the influencers fed him just as much as the people who were just his basic audience members they're just as much to blame using their giant platforms to promote or even just to admonish him is that the right word i'm pretty sure it's the right word i don't care enough to look it up right now you're just gonna have to run with me on this one Either way, chastising him or, you know, praising him equally fed the same beast that created what we knew as the liver king, the lie. So if you're going to throw shade at people who liked his content, know you played just as big a role in that as all the people who did like his stuff. So... I think instead of really doing a huge thing about this, the what I will say is this. If you're really going to punish an influencer, if you're going to punish somebody on social media, if you're going to punish somebody for lying who stands in the public eye in the public sphere for and attempts to use that influence in order to generate income, there's really only two ways to do it. One, stop buying their stuff. Two, stop paying attention. Stop talking about them. So let's all just shut up about Brian Johnson now. That shut up about the liver game. Nothing quite like being ignored to really let someone know they messed up. Especially in this day and age and in this particular climate. Social media being what it is, it feeds off of attention. Don't give it to them. Things become very sketchy and problematic and it hurts them way more than you could imagine. So, yeah, I'm done about him. I'm done with him. I'm done, done with that. Bigger and better things to do. Child on the way. I have other things to focus on. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna put this probably as like the pinned video for the for the channel. So I hope you guys get a kick out of it if you watched it. Uh, drop in the comments what you thought about it. Drop in the comments what you thought about the Liver King. Drop in the comments your prayers and thoughts for me making it through the next like. Lord only knows how many weeks because this is going to be chaos and I have no idea how I'm going to deal with it. But we survive. We forge forward. We make our way through. As always, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace. See you guys in 2023. 20...